Making his return to Pride Fighting Championships after a three-year hiatus, the assistant wrestling coach at Purdue University, the 1996 U.S. Olympic Freestyle Wrestling Team alternate and a six-time medalist in the U.S. Nationals and World Cup Championships, a two-time All-American and NCAA wrestling champion. Boss, I'm talking about the big cat, Tom Erickson. And big he is, and he's slimmed down, and he is in a better shape, and he's got better stamina, and he's got better strength. He comes back as a new person. Um, with Verdum, his, he's got the ground game, but how is he going to take, take Tom Erickson to the ground? He was at one time the number three ranked super heavyweight freestyle wrestler in the world. He says he comes back to pride with improved punching power, has learned how to entertain a crowd as a fighter says that's very important here in Japan. And, uh, well, he feels that Fabrizio Verdun better uh, get off the mark quickly. Otherwise, he is going to knock him out. And then he's going to, in his words, boss, take out Verdun's training partner, Mirko Krokop. Wow, that's a big statement right there. But we love statements like that here at Pride. The last time we saw Erickson in Pride was Pride 19 in February 2002 when he submitted Tim Catalfo via rear naked choke. He'll be the first to tell you, like most wrestlers, he does have problems with submissions, but has been working on the ground game as well. And you know, boss, it's true. Nowadays, you have to be an all-around compete fighter if you want to be in Pride fighting championships. Let's see what's happened in the past three years with Tom Erickson. Tom the Big Cat Erickson is 40, 6'5, 288 pounds. He's 3 and 1 in Pride Fighting Championships. Fabrizio Verdun is 27'6'4", 235 pounds, making his debut in Pride Fighting Championships. And because this is the heavyweight division, over 93 kilograms, and there is more than a 15 kilogram weight difference, Verdun will accept four point attacks on the ground. So, boss, there will be four point attacks in this fight. Uh, Erickson outweighing his opponent by a good uh, 50 pounds at least. And that hairstyle is, uh, wow, Boss Wooten special from way back in the day. It was an alien. And Verdun's pride debut against the Big Cat, who returns after three years, and you know Erickson's just going to be straight ahead, Boss. Yep. Whoa! There's the first one. If he's got the takedown, it's going to be dangerous. If it's going to... Oh, it's going to go to the ground. Erickson's going to nice. go to the ground. Oh, nice up by Erickson. down by Erickson. But it's on the ground. And this is exactly where Verdun wants to have it. Well, Erickson has the head and arm there and a very powerful 288 pounds. But again, does he want to expend the energy armbar. right now? Look, look at what he's doing. He's going to throw his leg over already. He, wants to, he was looking for an armbar already. Erickson able to avoid very smart. Verdun's comfort zone. He wants this fight to be in the stand-up. Whoa, nice. Verdun exchanging, goes for the shoot. Whoa, nice, another leg, a single leg. Yes, and he's gonna get it. No, no way. Erickson on top. Erickson's size just too much, and against a wrestler, you better be sure of that shoot. But you know what? The guard of Verdun is very good. This is going to be dangerous from Tom, from for Tom Erickson. Erickson with that wide base. He's going to have to, and you could hear his corner telling him to stand up. That's what he has to do, create the distance. He'll have to posture here and start to rain down some of that ground and pound. And that's really what he wants to do. As you can see, some heel strikes being delivered right now by Verdun. And you know, Erickson really is known for keeping the action on the canvas if he chooses because of his strength. Hey, listen, what I would do is try to pick him up and, and, and slam him down, do something, because uh, at the other side, if he extends his arms, it's going to be very dangerous. You don't want to mistake, make a mistake with Verdun, trust me. 
You know, Verdun as a blue belt began winning world titles in the Pan American Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Championships as a brown belt. He captured the European Cup. He's won the World Cup and World Championships as a black belt in the super heavyweight category over the last two years. This guy is a BJJ prodigy, boss. <laughs> yes, he is. But right now, there's a nice cross face by Erickson, the accomplished wrestler. What do you think, Erickson? Uh, is he doing the right thing here, boss? Uh, he's not you say our bar coming up, but Erickson's got the instincts to yep. avoid that kind of uh, danger. The cross phrase that Erickson did won't do anything. It's annoying, but it won't do anything, and it's stalling. And he was telling us he wants to go and enjoy the crowd, so I want to see him go. I want to see Tom Erickson throw him one more time there. Big hand. Right hand, followed by the knee. Pass for Bridge, he always did good with his striking, too. I don't know if Verdun has oh, 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 yes. caught him there. There you go. Oh, too soon. Verdun able to score some damage points of his own on Erickson, and probably the best combination of the fight thus far, Bob. Yes. There were like three or four punches, and they were all direct hits. They're telling Tom to use knees, and he's listening perfectly to his corner. And they tell him not another knee, and that's Has what he should do right now. Neck control, the tie clinch. And that's, he's in perfect position right now, boss, to deliver a knee right up the middle. That's it. That delivers a short right hand, uppercut delivered by Verdun along the ropes. And there's Verdun, jump guard right down, boss. Beautifully done by Verdun. Yep, very smart. Very smart. If I was him, I would do the same thing. Somebody's bleeding, or it's from another fight. It could be the remnants of our opening bout between Mario Sperry and Hirotaka Yokoi, and they're going to uh, restart it in the center of the ring. Stay back, Tom. Stay back. Stay back, Tom. Fight! And again with these heel strikes along the rib cage. And you see that wide base again of Erickson. Now, what should Erickson be doing here, boss? We talk about creating the distance, but is Verdun wanting to keep it close? Verdun, of course, you know the, the, the brain is working overtime here. The Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Special is setting him up for a triangle. Uh, perhaps. Even a double armbar arm arm coming up. There he comes. Almost plot him. No armbar, straight armbar. He's going to come in, he grabs his leg. No, misses it. Amo Pilate, he wanted to go for Yeah, the kick. old plot up there. And uh, man, Erickson's doing a good job of uh, avoiding the submissions of Verdun. Did you see that short little up kick yep. that Verdun did uh, in the middle? Boom. And it, it is true. I think Tom, the big cat, has been hurt. His nose, I think, is bleeding a little bit. Verdun should keep working. And like you said, um, Tom Erickson needs to create distance in order to... Again, the set up here. Bars. Yep. He can do both arms right now. He can even do a double arm bar. We had a double arm bar one time here in Pride. I think it was Pride 2. There we go. Oh, again, six. slips away halfway through round one. And again, the more this round goes, the more these fighters are going to perspire. And you know, boss, with perspiration, the harder it's going to become for a submission hold to be put on. Perfect. But now the hooks choke. are in. He's going to get it. He is so good at this. Well, never count out the big cat until it's time, but definitely in a danger zone here is the Erickson as Verdun has the back, and he yes. does tap the it's... rear naked choke. Good job by Fabrizio Verdun in his debut, and he wins it via the choke. Rear naked choke, and in his language, mata leo, and that means the uh, lion kill. kill the lion. The only way you can kill a lion, apparently, is a rear naked choke. I would just kick him in the head, but hey. Or else, in this case, the big cat kill, as he definitely dispatches Tom Erickson, who gave him a tough fight in the opening half of the first round. There is your winner, Fabrizio Verdun, displaying the flag of Brazil and Croatia. Very nice. Welcome to Pride. This is very good for him. I mean, he takes Tom Erickson down. That means now everything goes open in the, in the heavyweight division for him. Well, it was interesting. He was going to join the Shootbox Academy to be their heavyweight representative in Pride and then received a call from Miracle Krokop's camp, chose their offer instead, and, uh, well, welcome to Pride indeed, Fabrizio Verdun. What do you think of Tom Erickson throughout the fight, boss, as we take a look Tom, at the replay? That was a really nice. See, this, this is the, the three shot that I said was all a hit. 
boom, oh, that was almost an uppercut hit. I know, I think um, Tom did a good job. He did a great job, you know. He threw a lot of power away with the upper body throws, and he ran a little bit out of gas, and here we go, of course, with the rear naked choke. Yeah. And it slid on it. This was all over again. We saw this before with Tom Erickson here at the Pride Fighting Championships. Once they got this back, they choked him. Almost resembled an Alexander Emelianenko short choke there as Erickson forced to tap out. Yeah, it's all over again. We saw this when Tom Erickson came to the Pride and he fought Heath Herring. It was exactly the same thing. Yep, Took him down and a rear naked choke. Happened at Pride 11. But the 27-year-old youngster from Brazil, now a member of the Crow Cop squad, Jim, look good in taking care of Tom Erickson. And we look forward to seeing him back in action here at Pride Fighting Championships.